And the commander is now leaving the crew transport vehicle along with our other astronauts. Being greeted by our NASA administrator and our center director, Bob Cabana. We see Sandy Magnus, Doug Hurley, Rex Walheim, and Chris Ferguson. John Shannon from Houston. Our, our launch vehicle, Atlantis flow manager, Angie Brewer. John Shannon, who's served as our program manager out in Houston for the shuttle program. We see our uh, launch director in the background, Mike Leinbach. And Mike Moses, along with uh, Mike Leinbach. There's, our, there's Lori Garver, our deputy administrator, and our administrator, Charlie Bolden. The scene of uh, happiness as well as mixed emotions. There's the uh, Atlantis banner that uh, was actually on the hatch of Atlantis when the hatch was closed. He's with uh, Rex Walheim. Getting his uh, picture made with Atlantis' banner. Mark Nappy from United Space Alliance. Sandy Magnus. And now we're underneath Atlantis. The crew is going to be going over to the landing gear. And uh, looking at the tiles with the remainder of a crew, there's our administrator, Charlie Bolden, again. Pilot Doug Hurley. It's Pilot Doug Hurley in the red hat.
There is Sandy Magnus. Pilot again there in the red hat is uh, Doug Hurley. Crew is going back to Houston tomorrow afternoon. And uh, as soon as they get back to the astronaut quarters very shortly, they will have a chance to have a reunion with their immediate family members. They will have a uh, more thorough physical and uh, that will occur before they get something to eat. And there's our commander, Chris Ferguson. Here's our center director once again, Bob Cabana, director of Kennedy Space Center. Bob Cabana is talking with our commander, Chris Ferguson. Bob Cabana also has served as an astronaut on the space shuttle. Rex Walheim, and uh, we see our purge equipment in the background hooks up to the aft of Atlantis, providing all the cooling right now. Atlantis's onboard cooling systems are off. Uh, astronaut John Casper, who's in, served as our uh, weather officer uh, here in the uh, fire room during launch, and uh, has been responsible for conveying a lot of the information, weather information, with uh, between our uh, shuttle training aircraft, weather reconnaissance, and uh, mission control in Houston.
John Casper also a shuttle astronaut. Weather out on the runway is still very favorable. It's still cool, not as hot as it will be by late morning up into the mid-90s. Just a few showers offshore moving away from the Cape. And all of the activity continues to be on schedule to start a tow back to order processing facility Bay 2 about 10 a.m. probably can't hear me out there but I'm gonna talk to the mic anyway um, you know it's a uh, it's a great day to be here and to welcome the STS 134 crew back home I personally want to salute them and everybody who's been involved in this program it's been uh, a 30-year journey that has been absolutely incredible and uh, I, I want to say that all of us stand on the shoulders of some pretty giants uh, none any better than this I they have come to be known as the final four uh, and they did an absolutely incredible job. If you had an opportunity to watch any time during the mission, they were like racehorses the whole time. So they made us very proud. Um, you know, we've been exploring since early in our country's history, and what Fergie and his crew did this time was kind of close out this era of our exploration. And, but I want everybody who was involved in this to feel incredibly proud of what you did and what your role was. Uh, like me, they got an opportunity to do the flying, but we owe an incredible debt of gratitude to the thousands, literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of folk around the country who made all this possible. Uh, I had a chance to talk to some of you this morning, and you know, we were lining up the convoy. I thank you again for everything that you've done. Uh, the things that we've done have set us up for exploration of the future, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I just want to salute this crew. Welcome them home. Let them know how much we're, how proud we are of them. And Fergie, uh, I ask you to come on up and talk for your crew there. So thanks very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Charlie. We really appreciate uh, those remarks. Um, I'll tell you what. You know, flying in space is a is a real dream. But uh, flying in space, uh, it has a lot more to do with uh, who you do it with than than what you do. And uh, these three folks, Rex and, and Sandy and Doug, I'll, I'll tell you, if a commander couldn't ask for three better people uh, to go and, and perform uh, an aggressive and, to a certain extent, um, you know, historic mission. I mean, there was, uh, there's no doubt that there was a lot of, uh, a lot of attention uh, paid to this mission because it does bring to a final close uh, 30 years of uh, space shuttle history. Um, I'm going to speak on behalf of them and just say that uh, we're all the three of us, or four of us, were honored uh, to be a part of this. Um, but ultimately, uh, it's everyone who's worked on the shuttle program. Although we got to take the ride, um, we sure hope that everybody uh, who has ever worked, or touched, or looked at, or envied, or admired a space shuttle um, was able to take just a little part of the journey with us. Uh, we're going to put Atlantis uh, in a museum now, along with the other three orbiters for generations that will come after us to admire and appreciate. And hopefully, I, I want that picture of a, of a young six-year-old boy looking up at a space shuttle in a museum and, uh, and say, you know, Daddy, I want to do something like that when I grow up. Or I want our country to do fantastic things like this for the continued future. And if we set those steps right now and they continue with that 
that next generation of, of space explorers, then I, I consider our job here complete. So uh, again, on behalf of the crew, uh, thank you so much for uh, the time and the attention. Uh, and for the folks at KSC, thank you for this fantastic vehicle. It performed uh, absolutely wonderfully. Um, not a glitch, and it's, uh, it's just as pristine as it was, I hope, on the day that we took it, uh, barring maybe a, a door to the WCS, which opened up a little bit on entry. But uh, <laughs> everything is wonderful. The vehicle is great, and thank you very much. Excuse us, excuse us. And the uh, crew very shortly is going to be heading over to the astronaut transfer van. see uh, activity to load equipment things coming off the flight deck the crew right now is expected to have a news conference at uh, at about 12 noon that will be carried live on NASA television. Now we see them boarding the Astrovan. Our post-landing news conference with our senior management will be at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And there they go.